said I have any. And yes. I'm gonna go to oil reset. And it's at 6%. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back to Hidden World. Now, if you're new here, my name is Armando. And today, as promised, we're gonna change the oil on my 2016 Mustang GT. Now, just like the other video, it's like 98 degrees outside. So we're burning up already, but let me show you guys exactly what you need. So this video is for anyone who's not familiar with how to do oil changes. Trust me, they're very simple. Just don't overthink it, but if that's you, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we might move out of the garage just because out there in the shade, there's a lot more breeze, but these are the few essentials that you need. So first, you want a low profile jack and you want two three ton jack stands. Now, these are really gonna help you to make sure that this will not crush you. And then the oil that this car takes is 5W20 synthetic blend. Now I get the Motocraft just to stay on the safe side. I had this one from the last time I did it and it still has some in there. But yeah, I just got one new one this morning. And then this is the filter that you'll need. Take a photo if you need it. And then this process is a little messy. So you're gonna want some towels just in case you get some on your hands or somewhere you don't want it to. But yeah, if you own a 2016 Mustang GT or 2015 or 17 even, you can take a photo of this and this is all you need. But yeah, I believe I waited 7,000 miles to change the oil in my car. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to like every, I'm pretty sure every 6,000 you're supposed to change it. So I'm a little bit past it. That's why I think I'm like at 15 or 20% of oil life. But yeah, don't do what I did. Don't wait that long. I do not know why I just was holding it off. I don't know. I don't really drive it as much. It's just probably why for me, it felt like it didn't need it. But once I just checked it, I was like, yeah, no, it, it needs to be done. So yeah, let's get started. So this portion right here is probably the best place to set the jack on you see the screw right here it should be right under it so this part right here should line up to the middle all right so this this is a jack stand and it's pretty simple. So in order for it to go up, this portion right here shows you levels. So you want it at the third one. And then in order for it to not fall, because in order to release it, you just lift this up. One, two, three. You just want to secure this in. Just like that. And make sure it goes to the other side so it doesn't fall on you. And then make sure it lines up with this right here. Yeah, look, I need it to go a little bit more up. So we'll release the lock. And then bring it up just like that. So yeah, now I locked it in place and it's lined up just like that. So the first jack stand goes right here. And then the second one can go right here on this little tower right here. And it's the same, I think it's just one level up and don't forget to lock it. All right, so with the drill, once you're under here, once you have all the jacks and everything down, you got six bolts to take off. So I re already removed this one. This one holds down this large pan up here, but it's this one and this one. And then you got four more. You got this one right here, that one, and then two on the far, there's that one right there. And that's the sixth one. So that's to remove this pan. So in order to remove this pan right here, you gotta take these two off first. And now the reason we're doing that is because the filter is in there. You won't be able to see it until we take it off. But the purpose of removing this, I took it to a shop while I was in school cause I didn't have time to change it. And he left, there was like some leftover oil in this pan. And as I was driving, I thought it was leaking. So just to make sure that you're completely safe on that side and you don't feel like there's a leak you always want to remove this pan and it's easier all right so we so we used a drill 
and you want a seven millimeter that way you already removed those two but yeah that's pretty simple to do all right so this is the last uh one we have to drill out and i'm working with the really tight space but you'll fit in with the drill and if not you can jack it up a little bit more all right so that's out and now you want to slightly bring it out make sure nothing's leaking and no we're good so now that the pan's out you can easily see the filter right there and we'll be able to get that out all right so now that in order to remove this first we're going to get that oil pan so nothing leaks a few towels and i'm sure you could use your hand but we're going to use that wrench make sure to not lose your six screws so just put them on top of the pan and we're going to get the oil pan so nothing leaks out but yeah so ford made it that difficult you got to remove this in order to get to the oil filter all right so i make sure to always take photos of these that way i don't forget and i'm not looking for them like back and forth but my dad's gonna help me with this part so i'm gonna be recording getting a good shot you want to make sure to oil, line up the oil pan with that screw right there that's gonna allow you to release that old oil in order for you to change that filter first you want to release that first with this 15 millimeter all right so he's gonna show you guys now All right, so now it's loose. You want to make sure to line it up so you make the least amount of mess you can. And it's already coming out. And yes. So you want to give that a few minutes. You don't want any leftover in there mixing up with the new oil. And that's why you need that rag. But genuinely, you want to do this first. And then the next step, you know, once you clean up right here, you'll be able to change that filter. And we're almost done. And if you're in a rush, you can remove both of these just to release some pressure. Now be careful because it might be a little hot, depending on when the last time you drove it. But if you want to remove that one and the dipstick as well, just to release some pressure, the dipstick is right down there so you want to release it and it is a little hot in there you just want to set it aside for now but yeah that'll release some pressure and allow it for it to and allow it for look it's almost done all right once you clean that area with a towel you just want to put it back in and then we can go straight into working onto the filter all right you guys so you can use one or the other i'm more comfortable using this one but they use essentially the same way so this is the new filter right here i don't know if you guys want to take a photo if you can't get a good hang of the filter you can put a towel over the wrench and it just takes a little bit of tries to take it out still leaking out make sure to use your pan have a towel right next to you and let that leak for a while before you remove it so now right before you insert the filter you always want to lubricate the ring and just like that that new filter can go in the same way you took it out and after you twist it with your hand you can use that wrench just to make sure it's secure and then once you secure it in, you want to clean that area just to make sure there's no um, leakage. Or at least when you, once you put that uh, cover on, nothing is leaking out. Just to make sure it's secure on there, you want to use that wrench one last time. And that's not going anywhere. So yeah, now we're done with that part. We're gonna clean up and we'll we'll fill it up with that 5W20. So yeah, this pan is full now. That old filter is gonna stay there for a while. Now we gotta put this pan.
pan back on with that six screws that I told you about earlier. So now that those six are in, that's secured. Now we get to clean up down here, clean that up, and then we'll put in that new oil. All right, you guys, now we're gonna remove the two jack stands and that piece of wood my dad put, just cause you know, we wanna be as safe as possible. And the jack, that's the last thing we're gonna lower. Don't forget to move these out of the way cause the car did lift. So if you bring it down on this, one of those pieces of wood, something might happen. So yeah, make sure to remove them from both sides. Once we lower it, we put that 5W20 synthetic blend and we'll be done. All right, you guys, I'm on my way to the store because I don't know why I thought my car took six quarts, but it takes eight. So I had a brand new five quart of that 5W20 and it took all of it. And then I had another one from last time that was one and a half quarts. And I was like, yeah, that's literally enough. I was like, I thought it took six quarts, but no, now I have to go buy another one. So my dad's over there cleaning up and now I'm just gonna get home, fill it up with the rest and I'll be back. All right, we came back from the store and I got the other one. And I don't think it's gonna take much. All right, it's topped off now. We already checked the levels, we're good. After having to go to the store. Get rid of this funnel. Before I close this off, we are going to reset the oil life. Now, in order to do this, you need the keys first. So yeah, now we're gonna reset the oil life. That's gonna be in here. So I'm gonna turn it on. All right, so once you turn on your car, you wanna go to the settings, you wanna go to vehicle, and that, that the first option is easy entry, exit, lighting, locks. You wanna go to oil reset, and it's at 6%. Now we wanna do is press okay. And just like that. So you were just supposed to hold the OK button. Now, once you click it again, it's at 100%. Now, since I do the oil changes myself with my dad at home, we don't really have a sticker here. So just try to take a photo. Try to take a photo so it's at 40,000 miles essentially. And try to remember that. And you're gonna, and you're gonna need, and you're gonna need another oil change and basically 6,000 miles. Or like me, it was, I believe it was like 7,000 miles. So. I, I did wait a little bit. As you can see, it was really low. It's, it was actually lower than what I expected, which is not good. I don't recommend it at all. So please don't wait that long, but it's at 100% now. And we're good to go for the, basically the next six months if you drive it. Well, I'm not sure because since I don't daily it, it'll take me a lot more time for it, but I'm gonna try to do it in the next six months. So basically. All right, you guys, that does it for today. Um, you typically it takes me like an hour it typically it takes me like an hour to change my oil but this was my first time recording it and the purpose of this video was because typically me and my dad look up videos on how to do things and we're always like what did that guy do or what did that person do like it's they they skip a step or they don't show up properly so hopefully i give you guys a really good in debt so hopefully i give you guys enough of a good view a good detail a good amount of what you need to do because typically we're left like in the air like what are we supposed to do after that but we did it um this isn't my first time doing the oil change on this car i i went to the dealership the first time i bought it i didn't like the the prices were insane and um i took it to this shop just around the i would say like five minutes away and i also didn't like the way they did it so me and my dad just watched youtube videos and we do it ourselves and it did take us a bit longer since we were trying to get the best shots and the best frames the best amount of details on what to do what to use 
So hopefully everything was helpful. But yeah, that was a process for a 2015 through 2017 Mustang GT oil change. Um, hopefully it was helpful, but I'm not sure about the 18s and above. I'm not sure if the process is different. But yeah, like I said, this wasn't the first time, but since we did record it, it took us a little bit longer. And last time I checked the temperature, it was 98 degrees. Comment down below what the temperature is where you live. But here it is insane. Uh, I heard that we're past global warming. I'm not sure what that even means, but it just, but it is insanely hot. And yeah, I cleaned the windows. I did the interior cleaning a few days ago. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.